Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is your Tessic, and welcome to episode number two of Tropical Six Season uh, Six. Tropical Six Season Six, yes. And today, I'm going to show you how to get your dependence in Tropical Six. Once again, a reminder in case you missed episode number one, this season is not so much about a challenge. We've had five seasons with challenges in it, with a difficulty, military dictatorship, capitalism, island, capitalist island, blah, blah, blah. This season is really more so me having fun and making Tropical Six content, but also giving tips to the new players that are coming in. So that's kind of what this season is all about. So if you're in here for that and you're coming from part number one, welcome. This is your first time coming to the channel. Welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment below. Let's get it started. So in this, in, in the last episode, we I'll let you watch it if you haven't already, but we kind of built a pretty good foundation. We had goals to set how we want to start this episode. Our goal is to gain independence, because remember, when you're in a uh, colonial era, you basically you don't have your own independence. So, you know, the, the Her Majesty or whatever it is rules your island. You're basically a governor. You know, you're not the president yet. You're the governor. So we want to gain our independence. Now, we last episode and the first few you know, yeah, let's say hour or so in your island, when you play in Cologne era, you're gonna kind of balance both of them because make sure the, the mandate gets extended so you don't run out of time because once you do lose the game and making sure you get enough revolutionary support to get your independence. So revolutionary support or gaining independence in Tropical 6 is pretty simple. So how to gain your independence in Tropical 6 breaks down to two ways. Either A, you buy your independence. You tell the mandate, screw off, here's your money, get out of my island, or B, you fight them. I might pick fighting them. Uh, so, but in order to fight them, you're going to need an army, okay? How much money do you want to spend on the army? I still haven't decided that, but I might fight them. It depends on how much you're asking. Obviously, you don't want to be caught up the last minute because you have no choice, right? Um, they might just come in and say, you know, give me this money. You can't just say, hold on a second. I don't have this money. What do I do? Well, you're screwed, you know? So make sure you have the money or you have an army before that box pops up. Because at that point, you can't really back out unless you go, you know, open up your game and go back in the saves. Um, now, I've done the fighting plenty of times, but it's been a while. It's been maybe like two, two years ago that I forgot how much military power they, they come with. Uh, do we need one for? Do we need two? Of course, we can build one. We can build two. And once we're done with that, we can just break it down uh, so if we don't need it uh, in, in another time. But then you do need a tavern. Uh, let's go ahead and give them a tavern somewhere here. It's a nice present. Look at that, man. That's... Would you like to come out of your, you know, broke income house and have a tavern here? You know, yeah, you got the dock kind of obstructing your view, but you look down, look at that. Beautiful. You got the pirate cove here. It's just beautiful island. Beautiful, beautiful island. Um, We already got done with employee of the month. Uh, again, one thing I was selling last one is you don't want to really focus on a work mode just yet. You want to focus on things that in case things go haywire. You know, you can have the workforce ready or I can just start uh, charging church fee so I can make some money a little bit on the side. So um, that's what we're going to do. This episode, while we focus on getting our independence in Tropical 6, we're also going to focus on launching our fourth industry in the island. Again, we talked about, we emphasize on, let's just say, on the one and done industries in Tropical 6, uh, what I like to call the one and done. And a one and done industry to me is an industry that all you need is just one thing and boom, done. You know what I'm saying? Like a cigar factory, you just need a... Uh, tobacco plantation and the cigar factory, boom, done. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Actually, we can't just open it up till next era, I believe. Yeah, so next era. But either way, we have that ready anyways. Uh, new task. There we go. So we can spend 15 or we can declare war. Our economy is good. It's not bad at all. Um, so you know what? I don't want to take a risk because we only have one fort and a and the guard towers we're gonna go ahead and pay it whatever it is get out of here and now this is how you gain your independence and in tropical six and this is how you advance from the colonial era in tropical six see you later get the heck out of my island now i am officially el presidente and we are in world world war just like that of course like i talked about last episode we talked about possibility of going negative in your account and how not to panic it's okay as long as you don't go too negative uh, and then the world war is where you sometimes go negative, which is fine. We're going to do our best not to go negative, obviously, but sometimes you're going to be in debt. Hell, even the biggest economy in the world, the United States of America, is in debt. You know, so it's pretty normal. Just relax. Have a plan. We have a plan already, okay? And our plan right now is we can go ahead and open up an, our fourth industry. But now they're talking about all citizens vote and you have some uh, constitutional ones. 
We are going to do all citizens vote right now. We're not going to do a pacifist state. We're going to do a militia. So we can also hit two birds with one stone. Have a pretty good military, but also give jobs to the uh, broke people. All right. So there we go. Confirm the changes. Stamped, signed, and sealed by the Presidente. Speaking of broke people, look at that. Our unemployment is going down. And I was talking about the last episode as well, how it's, you know, having... Uh, Unemployed people is not a bad thing in Tropical. That means when you try to expand out to a new industry, you already have people on standby. In this case, our new industry is going to be the cigar factory. So we have 20, which is actually not the most, but that's fine. Because next up is in a, in, in the Pirate Cove, we'll go ahead and res rescue many. So we can have more and more workforce till we start popping babies of our own here. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to wait on the cigar factory just till this one comes in. $5,000 worth of stuff. Not bad at all. 6,000 now, okay, good. We'll wait one more, one more shipment to go there. So we're, we're pretty doing pretty good. Now you got the access and you got the allies to trade with. Of course you trade with this person, that person's gonna be mad, blah, blah, blah. It's an ending story here, but you look at what you have. Um, in this case, meat, we have meat. Well, yes, we can do that and we have fish. We, you don't wanna sign big term contracts at first. You don't wanna go 64,000 units, la, 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 because these 5% and 10%, they're not good margins, right? Yes, they're in a positive, but they're not giving you that much money. So just do a little bit where you can good, get a good relationship with them and um, and also, you know, just get a little extra money for, you, for your money. But I thought I had to. What are we talking about here? Oh, so I'm getting milk from there. I'm going to actually cancel the trade route from them. I don't need it. And I'm going to go ahead and sign this. Um, I don't, I'm not going to open, unlock another, uh, another uh, trade contract just yet. So now we got two things fish and meat go in and as you can see they're both kind of offset each other this is negative five and this is negative five but this is plus five and this is plus five so this is why i kind of did it like that where you know they're both mad at me but they can't be mad at me so it just becomes neutral at that point so there it is this is built it's not going to fill up as fast as we'd like just because again our unemployment is going down and now look at that vacant jobs boom went up so that's kind of the balance that you have to do in the world wars is, is also making sure when you get your independence that you know in 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 colonial era your crutches you can just get plus 10 revolutionaries plus 10 re revolutionaries now you're gonna have to get a little creative with how you bring people into your island um and pirate cove is a pretty pretty good way to do that as well so here's how we're gonna combat this a little bit login i don't like i'm not a biggest fan of login camps the reason why we built it so we can do the wood toys until we get a kid uh, get the cuddly toys that includes client we already have clients so i'm gonna change this to cuddly toys i'm gonna tell these guys sorry your job is over and now we're gonna have more workforce coming up here and that's kind of another thing of managing your island kind of remember what you put what you're using what you're not using what's mandatory what's not a dungeon is another one of them that's not mandatory we'll only build it for the mandate i don't need it we're not doing a military island right now. We're just trying to do a successful regular island. I don't need dungeons. I don't need all of that. So there we go. So now we got 15 people, boom, magically back in the market. And now they're going to come here and they're going to kind of go where they're going to need to go. $19,000 in trade, $23,000 in trade. The economy is doing okay, but I'm not expanding here. I'm not exactly at a stalemate, but I'm not expanding just yet because I need this. Okay. I need a cigar factory. And guess what a cigar factory needs? A cigar factory needs five high school educated workers i don't have any high school educated workers so why would i spend the money sorry i got two why would i spend the money on a factory that's going to be half operational i'll wait till i get more and that's how you do it you want to build 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 you will lose 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 so that's one thing you got to make sure in world war is very very critical because really right now you're going to be setting major foundations major foundations for your future economy. So how do you combat that? Because you don't want to just stand still. You want to pump more money into your economy. I'll tell you how. You start researching a little bit. Creamery is another good one. It doesn't take high school workers and I already have things that are producing milk. So okay, Creamery sounds like a nice new industry that I can go ahead and pump into my economy. So there you go. We're going to put it right here. And bam, voila bim, voila boom. And on top of that, since we got a few um, unemployed people, what I'm going to do actually is go here and you're going to want milk which can happen twice goats is obviously not a good thing here i just don't like the little yellow here but it's better than nothing i'm actually going to quick build this and i'm going to go ahead and high priority this this one so now we'll have a creamery coming up and now people work here boom everything is good i'm actually going to raise the wages just in this so the efficiency and the job quality could go up a little bit more 
All right, another thing I recommend in this time, even though it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it's going to help you down the road, is start building a high school, okay? Now, this one is going to cost us uh, so $10,500 altogether with the blueprint. I'm going to wait on one more ship. How much money we got coming out now? $7,000. i am going to wait on one more ship after this one, um, and then I'm going to build a high school. This way, we can start building our workforce of high school educated workers, okay? We're going to wait one more ship, and we do that uh, because, like I said, unemployment is dang near zero, and you got vacant jobs. And we don't want that, but the vacant jobs are uneducated right now. Again, I think next up on this is the rescue money, and they're already working on it. And actually, there's one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit this one more time, and I'm gonna go ahead and increase this all the way I can increase it until they're not on a mission. But I'm gonna increase it when they come back um, all the way to a max so the efficiency could be good, because you really, the Pirate Cove is gonna help you a lot in this. What is this, have an average healthcare happiness? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. I, I generally, I'll be honest, some of you might disagree, and that's completely fine. You play your game how you want to play it. I don't really care about healthcare happiness till we get in the, in the Cold War era. So let's take a look here. What can we do? State loans, for sure, no problem. Wealth tax, for sure, no problem. And then we're going to do literacy. Um, this way, state loans, in case you really, really need that money, we need a big, big project quickly, we'll go ahead and do that. And one more thing I actually want to do is a clinic work mode. So there we go. Uh, there we are here. We're waiting on this to come in. Expect the revenue is going to be 13,000. So come on, let's go. 20,000. So perfect time to build a high school. 23, 24, 23. Building going up and down, going up and down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. 25,000. So now we got a little wiggle room to go ahead and build the high school up for them. And we can start getting some high school educated workers. Bam, just like that. It has been built, high priority. We have enough this and enough that. And, um, you know, if we had just a little bit more of of unemployed people, I would have definitely, definitely built um, another Teamster's office. Actually, speaking of that, we're not building as fast right now. We, we can always rebuild it, it's not expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish one of the construction offices again. Remove, move them around. You know, I'm not using as many construction. Okay, cool. No more job here, go work somewhere else. What a great go work day, where, where else Anthony. is needed. I I don't really care about um, the broker quest right now, but we'll just take that for now. How's the creamery doing, by the way? Again, I got to subscribe lifetime, uh, subtract lifetime expenses versus the production value. So we're looking at about 1,500 versus and a negative 6,500 or about 7,000 now. So we're looking at about 5,500 in expenses so far. Pretty good, not bad at all for that. And that's kind of, you know, a little bit I here, a little bit there, and do all of that. Build a Teamster's busy. office, yes, sir. That's my guy, by the way, General Rodriguez. I love this guy. So we're, they want a construction office. That's not a problem at all. I mean, a Teamster's office. I was thinking of adding one, even though I don't think adding one right now is going to help much, but we'll keep that in our back pocket just whenever we need that approval. Oh, they're striking over here. What, what do they want? Uh, what do you guys want? Negotiate. People are angry not at you, of course, but what have they come? Promise to raise healthcare happiness by eight within the next eight years. Grab the protesters. Uh, I promise. That's fine. It's fine with me. We already kind of have a similar promise of what they want with the healthcare. I guess they really care about the healthcare right now. So let's go ahead and start looking at that then. Um, it's going to be in wellness. Uh, there's a clinic. What do, you, what do you even have college educated workers? We could hire from the outside, sure, but uh, that's a tough one. Uh, because we got two requests now for health. Forget it. Whatever. We're going to do it. Um, even though my gut feeling is saying no, who cares? But we're just going to do it. Especially if they're protesting about it already. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, we don't have any college. <laughs> we don't have any college workers at all. So that's going to be a little different. At least this is filling up, which is nice. Look at Alba. Alba Sanchez is here. How are you doing, Alba? I always like looking at their stuff. She's a high school student, even though she looks six. She's 13. Okay, I guess she's a freshman in high school, probably. Um, she's Tropican. Her dad is Tropican. Her mom is from the Netherlands. So, you know, they're they're living an immigrant dream in Tropico. Uh, her, her dad works at a plantation. Her mom works at a plantation, so farmers. But she's going to be better because she's going to get this high school diploma and come work in my brand new spanking cigar factory. So, so I need you to pay attention, Alba, and graduate as soon as possible because we need that cigar factory up and running. <laughs> How did, where the heck did I get college-educated workers from? Do I even have any college jobs? I don't have any college jobs. I don't know where the heck I got them from, but hey, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm not complaining, trust me. 
All right, let's go ahead and build the Teamsters office that the militarists want. And now we can uh, expand just a little bit. We're not going to put them all in just one area. So we'll go ahead and put this one right here. Once again, I got to repeat myself every time. If your island doesn't look the best right now, that's completely A-OK. -okay. It'll look good at some point. Oh, look at that. The Pirate Cove is coming. I wonder how many people they're bringing in. We're about to find out. So 31 vacant jobs. Let's see how many jobs we've taken right now. Um, doesn't unfortunately tell you. It's a lot of people. Um, so now we got... Oh, yeah. So that's a lot of people. That's good. Actually, while they're here, let me go ahead and raise this. Uh, duration of mission is decreased. That's fine. I don't care if they pass away for right now. It is what it is. I'm just trying to make what's best for my economy and my island. That's all. So they're, they're going to go on another on another mission. And this time we're actually going to rescue educated since we have a uh, educated so shortage here. The militarists. Um, I wish I could see. Let me see. I can't see now. I wish I could see the approval. I'll take the 5,000 right now. The heck with it. I'll take the 5,000. Oh, wow. We're gonna actually going to fulfill our promise earlier than I thought. So that's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty good. You got to be pretty happy about that, I suppose. Let's go ahead and raise uh, efficiency on this as well. So goods can move faster. And yes, it does matter. It does matter, my friends. Now, the only reason why I even accepted the bank quest, uh, again, another kind of internal. Let, let's take a look at the almanac so you know exactly what I'm talking about here. The reason why I accepted that is this reason right here. So, uh, again, I talked about it last episode. I think it's stupid that construction is considered an expense. Yes, it's technically an expense, but it's not an ongoing expense like upkeep and wages, right? Like, you got miscellaneous, like crime and all that. Okay, these are, these are ongoing, but... We're about, if you subtract 2,000, we're about at 11,000 uh, in the plus, okay? That means our treasury is doing okay. Now, I could build a bank and make interest off what's in my treasury, or the bank it gives me the option to even make my state loans in case I do want a loan from 50,000 to 80,000. So that's why I kind of entertained the bank idea. And let's take a look how much does it take to cost uh, for a bank. That's a hefty, hefty price. That's a hefty price. You're talking about twenty-three thousand five hundred and four college educated. So, I just put it there in the back burner. I would like to build a bank eventually. Um, we're definitely gonna build one for sure, but like in this era as well. But right now, I think it's time to pull the trigger. I, I'm, I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. I'm gonna go ahead and even though we don't have it, I'll just hire from the outside if we don't have it. But I would like another industry kind of rolling in here while we are doing this. And the cigar factory is going to be built. So maybe Alba Sanchez, the pupil we are looking at earlier, she can go ahead and um, okay. um, work there. Now she's seven years old and she's in high school. That's uh, pretty yeah. interesting. Her dad's from Tropical. Her mom's from Russia. Her mom has college education and she's working at the library. Um, so uh, yeah, maybe, maybe her mom could, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I get where we got these. So they were looking for college jobs. So they just took a high school job for now. They said, "Hey, I'll take, I'll take something lower than my uh, my demands for now." Um, speaking of that, speaking of lower, I don't mind building one more bunkhouse and a few regular houses here. Actually, so there's one more bunkhouse, and we're just gonna build just a couple, not too much, just a couple regular houses, um, just to kind of diversify our our real estate portfolio here in Tropico. And uh, we'll just, oh, three, three is fine. So there we are. Three houses are being built, a couple bunk houses. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. Sometimes when you have a bad shipment where you're not getting a lot and you're already low on treasury, that's where you have the dangers of going negative. But again, we'll, we'll make it work. No matter what it is, we'll make it work. Sometimes you gotta go in depth and then you'll be all right the next, the next roll. Now that the economy is pretty, still pretty small, but healthy for the majority of the part um we're gonna start focusing on uh the political side of things which is how much should i like us you know in this case seems like everybody's kind of split in the middle they they don't like us nor hate us 50 50 50 50 um and the foreign relationships you got 52 and 52 eventually you're gonna need to side with somebody before you move on to the world war era Always so one of the missions that we have is uh let's go ahead and take this one of the missions that we have is to invite the allies to the embassy so we're gonna have to eventually start looking at that and look at that pretty soon so it's gonna cost us 7500 to build it uh, like i said our economy is not bad not good right now uh, kind of in the middle let's take a look at expenses their expenses go up 
So yep, our expenses did go up. Now now we're in negative two thousand. This is how fast, this is how quickly and fast things could change with this, right? It can change just like that. You know, we were just plus twelve thousand. You know, ten minutes ago when I said this, and now we're negative two thousand. And that's really very very unpredictable of the world uh, the world war. And obviously, the prices of commodities change. You know, they're not always gonna give you the same yields or the same returns, but. Um, we will need to build that embassy, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. The heck with it. Uh, we will need to build it eventually. Job right there next to the cigar factory. That's fine. Again, I'm not worried about making it look pretty now. I'm worried about making it look be functional. Uh, uh, yeah, functional. So let's go ahead and build that up. They're gonna build it up, and then that will be one of the first steps in order for us to kind of advance next era. There's still plenty of other steps that you need to do. And here's that kind of what he says. One of these is constantly developing new weapons, la la la. So reach state of alliance from an alliance with either the allies or the access by having them present in, uh, in your embassy. It's not gonna really matter who you pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick the allies, just whatever. I'm not gonna praise them because I used to praise people back in the day, left and right. Then I realized it was a $5,000 price tag. I like you, Good but job, I don't like man. you that much to be praising you. Now this guy says, go. thank you, hey, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go take your $5,000, see you later. You know, right now. And another good thing about it is uh, the prices should change a little bit. They're still giving us really kind of whack prices, to be honest with you. They're not really the best prices, but they should change. Unemployment is down, but faking jobs are also down, which is pretty good. Um, I told you guys last episode, for whatever reason, the fish and wharves, even if you raise the budget all the way up, they just stop performing as, as well as, like, there's no workers at all. They stop performing as well as, as they should, you know, like... I don't know why. That's just how we how it is. And then they'll go, then they'll come, then they'll go. That's just how they, it is. But at least we got the embassy out of the way. Um, hopefully, again, our economy uh, stabilized a little more. And now, boom. Now we're plus, plus 10,000. It's That's really the, the, the biggest thing I can show you and tell you about the World War and how unpredictable the economy is. It goes up and it goes down. So you got to be just careful. You know, that our economy, like I said, it's not successful it's not a superpower economy but it is a foundational economy right now that we can build on so we got to focus on the internal political relations and external political relations next time um we can go and send a delegation the delegation is going to tell us what they want so have a cabaret near the embassy uh, to me that sounds like a win-win because entertainment for my people and I get uh, better relationships with them. Meta Cabaret obviously costs money and it costs 2,500, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, it's a win-win. Right there, they want to near the embassy. So we'll go ahead and build that up. It's gonna be a win-win for everybody. So that's kind of how you chip away at it. So like I said, episode one is about all starting the island. Episode two is how to gain your independence in Tropical Six, which we have, but also was on how to kind of start setting up the internal and foreign political relations uh, relationships in Tropical Six. And that's what we have been doing right now. Good He's gonna give me some money for it. So I'm gonna take the money again. Um, although, let's take a look at uh, how, how well, how are we doing now? We're doing better. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Not bad at all. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to wrap it up for episode number two of Tropical 6, season six. Next episode, we're going to get our uh, out of the World War era and in the Cold War era. And then we start really being more, 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 more aggressive. As you can see right now, I'm kind of autopiloting. But next one, we're going to be more aggressive. So if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more, like this video for more, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. With that being said, my name is Jerry Tess, and I'm out. I'll see you guys.